We're going to explore work of one artist, okay? Although he's been to New York City, he was originally born in India. And his name is Raghubir Singh. His major medium is, he's not a painter, he's not a sculptor. Instead, what did he use? Photographer. Correct. So camera was his medium. Okay. Now, how many of you like to take pictures? Me. Me. How I, come? Like to Why? I like photography. Why? What do you um, like? Because... It's, I don't know. It's fun. It's just fun. It. It's just fun. It. It you need to edit it. Okay, and Madeline, how do you edit? Okay, so you can do Photoshop. Yes. And you can like make it different colors. Um, kind of like um, take out a couple things that you like. You know, like add things in. I love that. Change it a little bit. I love that. So it has flexibility to be changed and different and editing. Anybody else who says and yes, I like pictures. What's the point of taking the picture? What's the if point of it? You're just going to edit it. That because then you need a base. You need like a base to edit it on. You can't oh. you can edit it on screen and add it here. Do you see any connection between this picture and that? Yeah. Yes. If you do, uh, they're both on the screen. Excellent, you're right. Virginia was saying they're both swinging. What else is similar? Or what's going on between this, this image and that image? A lot of more people. More people on one side versus another. What else, Grace? Okay, so two people over here on the stand, and there are lots of people on one side. Anything else? He worked for American company, okay, New York Magazine and Life, but he also was in New York City before you were born. He also lived in Paris, Is France. He still alive? No, he died. Sick. But you know what? His life still continues through these work of art photographs. Now, before you look into that, he really appreciated these type of images. What do you see there? They're like really old. You think they are really old? Okay. Well, I got news for you. These images are called miniatures. Not because they're small, but these are very delicate drawings. So delicate, you need tiny little brushes thinner than your eyebrows to paint them. They're very, very delicate. And he really, really loved these delicate drawings. He loved it so much, he wanted to do exactly the same thing with his photographs. But within that, I want us to think about composition. So guess what I made for you? I made a paper camera. Look, you open, close. You open, close. You open, close. Do you see what I'm doing? You cannot open them completely. If you do, you're going to break them in half, right? But you could always fit them together like paper origami. So now that we discussed the miniature, okay, painting, not a photograph, painting, there's something different going on here, or maybe more or less. You tell me, Grace. Go ahead. Who's, who's the center of attention here in this photograph? You think so? Are they really looking at the girls swinging on the rope? Uh, yeah. Him, they're looking at the photographer. They're looking at the photographer? Where is the photographer? Because I'm not right seeing. There. He's not, you can't Where? see him because he's taking pictures. But who is everyone looking, looking at? The swing. They're looking at the swing. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I know the mom so and the child in the middle. Why do you say that? Because they're the center of the picture. Oh, they're in the center, and also, who are they all looking at then? Everyone's kind of looking at the photographer, but... You think everyone's looking at the photographer? They're looking at the camera. They're are they really? The kids. They're, they're looking at the person, the mom. I just feel that she's closer, and everyone's kind of like... They're yeah. naked kids. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not. Are they all looking at the naked kid? It's kind of is that normal? It is. It is in India, yes, and other parts of the world I've been to, yes, it's very normal because especially hot, hot, hot season, oh, you don't need extra layers of clothing, especially when your baby like that. So they're all looking which direction because their head is moving towards the left. You're right. So even the cow is looking towards the left. But that's also the way the swing is. Yes, that's also the way the swing is. So it's almost as if Bhagavad Singh is telling you there's more action going on on this side of the photograph. We're discussing composition here, how things are laid. Do you see that? It's like an animated photograph, or an edited photograph. We're in a different... They, oh they put people's heads in there. Now, girls, why do you say animated photograph, because Alex? Because it looks so real. Not too close, Rose. You're too close. It also kind of looks fake. 
but it looks like a really good painting. Like, you're, even if you had it right in front of you, like a portrait of a boy and a man. Actually, Alex, you're right. This is what could have been what was really originally black and white photographs. That they didn't have X. They painted it correct. So it looks like it's almost painted, right? Remember that we discussed the miniature? That's another example of the painting miniature. So they painted it, right? So can you imagine how different it looked? So color was very much part of Raghavir Singh's inspiration. Okay? So come with me. We're going to move along here. We're going to keep you moving. Come on. And we're going to find the space to sit. I want you to look at it because layout is what we're looking at today because he's, he's, yes, he is confused. And there's a lot of story that he's telling us, but he lays it out in an interesting way that he's making you come back and look and look again because he could only tell you the story from the lens of his camera. <laughs> okay, here's a really, really confusing picture, but I love this photograph a lot. Can you find the photographer? He's in this picture. Oh, I found him. I wait, found don't him. wait. First of all, how many times do you him. see him in this picture? That is a yeah, clue. Don't count. Just count. How many times? Grace, are you with Three. us? Can you find the photographer, Raghavir Singh, in this photograph? I found him. Okay. Madeline, you first. How many times do you see Raghavir Singh in this Three. picture? <coughs> because he's all about cropping in this picture, yeah. just like the, the cutting off the hand disturbed you. How many times? Give me a number. Three. Three. Three times you're seeing oh, Raghavir Singh. Oh, I see his shoulder. Duh, 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 duh. One, okay, we're going up the numbers. How many times do you see the photographer in this picture? Go. Two. Two. How many times do you see Four. Alex? Um, three. What? Three. Three. How many times do you see him? Charlotte. Twice. Twice. So you all agree? Three? Three. Four. Four. Where is the fourth? No. Inside the rectangular no, frame. No, because that, if that's his shoulder, then it's different shirts. So. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What are we looking at? Looking at um, a, a mirror. Can we sit? Yes, you can sit. <laughs> You're looking at a mirror. But what, what, kind of, what kind of mirror? What, what are they a doing? A bunch of other mirrors. Yeah, so they're selling it. It's a shop, right? Now, how is the photographer, Bargo Bear Singh, able to include himself? How did he do that? Because are you telling me his torso is that long? No. It's this one, I think I'm going to save it. I'm going to keep the mystery going. Because this is how he changes towards the end of his life. So tell I don't me. have to tell the entire story. I'm going to let the viewer Oh, is that at the end of his life? He is. He decides to really focus and crop it like this one. What's the... Are you sure about that? No. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Okay. Well, you think the sky? I think this the rock. is why his artwork became his photograph became way, way, way abstract. It's no longer about let me shoot and tell you what you're doing right now, what other yeah, people are doing on the street. Madeline, you were quick to assume there was nothing, nothing in here. I know there's two white dots behind that are like taking up the canvas and like doing two circles, like and taking three circles, like splatting paint into it, and then there's two white dots. Like what's the point of two white dots? You're talking about. And then about selling it. it for millions of dollars. It is true. You're talking about it. It is true. It is okay. white dots. It is two true. White dots. This is why modern art is fascinating and it's always fun. Have us have a, come over this way. Raghavir Singh said, how did he do this magic just with colors? How did he do that? And he was so inspired. He looked to his fellow artists for many, many ideas. And color was very much important part of his photography because he would avoid black and white. He said, no, that's not the part of the story I'm interested in telling. But here's another part. Raghavir Singh, he did many of photographs for magazine. So magazine, would you more likely to buy a magazine with lots of colors or just simple black and white? Colors. 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 I agree with you too. Okay, girls. Hold on. Can you tell me one thing about Raghavir Singh? Tell me one thing about it. Go, yes, Charlotte. we can. Oh, I mean, Rose first. Go. He liked to crop out stuff from his pictures. Grace next. He did lots of photo art. He did lots of photos, okay, using camera, yes? I was Urania. Okay. This is Charlotte, and I thought that he could use a lot of color, so and not know. just white. Okay, not just white. Go ahead, Alex. This is Alexandra, and he, 
he changed his way of taking photos through one picture where you could see him multiple times and he changed the way he took he did art dramatically. Okay, what do you call where he changed the ways? What do we call that using? I know our paper camera didn't quite work out. What were we trying to show you? Cropping. Right, Carl? Like I said, Wait, we need Madeline to see. Madeline, talk. last Speak. words. Go ahead. Madeline, what was your reflection after today? Um, the, uh, uh, um, my reflection after today is that. Well, I like photography, so I think it's pretty cool how we kind of like angled it. And angled like, it. Well, like how we kind of, um, well, like how we like spaced it out and, and like how everybody was kind of just doing their own thing and had no idea that he, that they were taking a picture. So I love it's, that. it's cool how we kind of, Blend no. it all together. Yeah, please. Girls, yeah, there's a one word that you could say it all about on instead of explaining all that. Cropping. Or composition. Oh, or Can you say composition? Composition. 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 Okay, great job. That's a wrap.